the Gondorian sword and the greatest of humiliations I have to do a fix on myself um, I didn't read I didn't read it entirely correctly it has been pointed out and so we've got this reference which I did have which does show the most important thing is seven um, rings one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I only had six in my previous attempt. So that was um, a necessary thing to fix because it's significant and symbolic and will be important to anyone who's interested in this stuff. So then I also notice um, there are some scale changes. This has to be deeper. The outside um, ring here. And there's also a kind of pinch down the middle, not being completely flat, which I missed as well. So, I, yeah, the shame, the shame. So let me fix that quickly. It's not going to be too, too tricky to do. If I uh, reflect in the Z. This is my new center piece. And uh, that's going to be good. Yeah, I always forget to delete the hidden. And then merge. And then redynamesh. Now I should give a pinch to this whole area. So, yeah completely missed that and um, yeah read your reference read it and read it again and read it from a different angle and realize you know all the possibilities. It's tricky, but um, there was adequate reference on this. I should have really had a better look. So, blur. Reverse. Um, let's check my positions, yes. Um, inflate a bit, enlarge, well it feels like I'm, am I doing something to the outside, yeah be careful now, I want to just be absolutely sure of my faces those faces must be preserved. Okay, I can go in like this. Yeah, come on, it's not it's not that dramatic. It's quite subtle really, that's why I missed it. Something like this. And then I'm gonna have to fill all this business here. Thank God for symmetry, that's all I can say. Symmetry does save a lot of trouble. Just fill this up. Take it down. Uh, and then, horror of horrors, the guard is also wrong. I don't know how I managed to be 
so tardy and so um, slack on this. I, uh, I really missed a trick, but I've been doing a lot of swords and trying to run through them. Uh, so, yeah, if I just uh, sort that out, then I can get the guard. And we can try again. So it's more like that. And then there is this uh, this piece in the middle here. Let me see. Um, I'm going to need a box. Or a cube. In more technical language. Um, so what am I doing? Yeah, it has to be thin. It comes into the middle. It is uh, kind of cut off to follow that, but that comes later. Right, it meets in the middle here. Very good. Now the height. Yes, something like that. Okay, I'm feeling good. I think I'm just going to merge all this stuff on the basis that I've I've got it right. And uh, I think I know what I'm doing this time around. Okay, um, now I need to trim that, that thing, and it obviously follows the kind of <clears throat> angle created by these, it's the angle created by these um, discs. So if I come in here like that, That's going to be something like it. Yeah, okay. All right, a bit of um, tidying up. Just kind of merge these nicely. And um, I'll just soften all this a bit. It's very, um, it's very harsh. Okay, well there's a big dent on the top here, but I don't want to go too crazy on destruction. I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Um, oh god damn it, I forgot. It does come out a bit. Ah. That's the thing. Um, so many considerations. Uh, I forgot about that one. I remember it from the first time. Split it all back. And then what I have to do is spin this out somehow. Um, so if I duplicate it and then kind of turn it from here, yeah, it's, it's like this.
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I have to do. Something like that. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Um, in which case, I don't need the one behind anymore. I'm just going to bring that in really tight. OK. Better. Oh, watch me fail. Watch me fail again. Fail harder. Fail better. As Beckett said. So, um, we're done. Tidy that up. And, um, I think we've got the proportions on this now. Okay, anyway, you're cutting that away, so come on. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it closer. That's the kind of thing. Delete Dynamesh. Smooth it. All right, go easy. Um, yeah, because we've got an increased um, kind of pinch here, we have to do the same on the top. And now it's going to actually look like the thing that it's supposed to look like. And somehow you didn't see it before. But you see it now. Okay, with some help. I've got people to help. I got people to tell me. Hey. You missed a ring. Hey. The symbolism is destroyed. Fix it. Right, that thing is coming through from the bottom there. Let me just check the overall scale. Yeah, the, the connection needs to be not quite so tight here at the bottom. <coughs> More like that. And um, yeah, I quite like the depth now of the whole thing. I think it's um, pretty accurate. Whoa. What am I trying to do here? Just get a center. Yeah, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And I think we're done. Okay, now the guard. Come on, how bad is it? It's really bad, you know. I've completely misread all this. Nah. It's complicated. I need a chamfer here. Um, in this angle. And, uh, and the front is actually flat. How on earth could I have missed that? So, uh, let me just see if I can do this by hand. 
am I going to need some booleans? It's tricky where it meets here because I've I've joined that now, and uh, ideally that would be separate. It's going to be hard to get this line. You know, I want that line there to be pretty well defined. We've got a chamfer. If I'm just careful, I might be able to do it. So, yeah. Let's look at the front here. So, let me see the front. I mean, if anything, it feels like it comes in. But let's assume it's flat for the minute. I think I'm going to put a ball there. That's going to need a ball. That's going to need a ball. Um, Boolean. Come on in. Quick one. Append. Sphere. Find it. Bring it. Make it big, pull it back, take a look, bring it down, make it shallower, make it quite shallow, bring it down. Yeah, make it wider. Take a look. Uh, make it softer. Okay, how does it look? Yeah, it needs to come in right to this, uh, the top of this guard. So, um, yeah, it feels very flat, that front. So I'm not sure I've got the right object. Unless I make it very kind of flat. Something like this. Oh, yeah. This is good. But I want my um, I want my thing. It's tricky. That thing at the connector has to be retained. So I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to start. Make sure that starts there. And I'm going to take away all this. Uh, on that one, take away all these bits. Just leave the, oops, leave the connector in the middle. This thing. Okay, so that thing is still there. This thing is the new thing. And I can now push my boolean up or in and almost under that thing there. Okay, good. Um, right, so how do I feel about these chamfers now? Uh, Yeah, it's all very well, but I'm worried that this this needs to narrow a bit more. But let's let's assume this for the moment, and then try a bit more with the chamfering. Because that that 
that's not right. Um, yeah, you see the problem. This edge has to be very clear. <sighs> the sort of edge that I like to get from a Boolean operation. So if I, I'm going to do it any other way, uh, it feels really tricky. Come on now, pull it together. What's going on? It feels like things are not really, things are not really happening. Oh, they're happening, they're happening. They're happening all right. You just have to do them right. does not feel right. What's going on? I've got quite a lot of intensity. Okay, come on. The, um, the pinch is all very well, but sometimes it feels like it's hard work. So what I might try is, um, I might try the auto save. Thank you. It it might be better to go for a slice. Let's go for a slicer and um, a slash rather. A positive slash. Whoa! Slash always comes up with this crazy automatic intensity. See, this is the kind of thing. And then I can flatten my surfaces up to that point. Oh, it's going to be tricky down at the end here. I think it's it might be advisable to extend these a little bit. And then, um, if I extend them, I can recover the material afterwards. I mean, I can delete what I don't want. Oh, what am I doing? Anyway. This quick fix is a bit of a palaver. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Maybe I can get a nice edge. Kind of depends on my skill. So, um, it's a demonstration of my skill, or not. See, you're always going to get some lumpy bumpy. Now I need to fill a little bit.
just fill up to the edge. That's a better view, I think. Also feels quite good to to work. Okay, come on now. We're going to get there. We're going to get there in the next couple of minutes. Or I am worthless. Fill and flatten. Come on. Really, I keep saying it, but thank God for green metallic. If it wasn't for this green metallic, I'm not sure I'd be able to do this. I mean, it would be really a lot harder to do in any other, any of these. You know, the automatic thing is this red. And it's like, yes, okay. Red wax or some thing. Okay, we can do it in red wax. Oh, this line's looking quite good. This edge. Um, so if I just build that up, so there's no doubting it there. This could do with a fill. I want a very flat surface here. Thank you. And yeah, I think we might have fixed this guard. This errant guard is uh, back on track. I don't know what's going on down here. If I pull this out, um, if I pull out the, uh, the original against this Boolean, I'm gonna keep that though. Now, uh, come on. Oh, yeah, careful now. You know what's going on? I want, um, yeah. I'm pulling in the wrong directions, I think. Let me think. Um, on this side. Yeah, if I pull only in the Z, That's the kind of deal. Okay, get in there, quick fill, and then I can trim off the ends, and I think we might be good to go. There is a thing under here, but we'll come to that later. Okay, do the booleans. That needs a dynamesh of some sort. Eight million, what the hell? What's going on? Why would the why would the ball be eight million polygons? Um, group a sub. Bring it down. Okay, we did it. Right now, uh, what's going on here? I need to just. Uh, Oh yeah, I need to trim off the ends. Um, so, right, so I've sorted out the pommel and the guard is um, almost there. But I thought I would just show my original 
mistake this flat uh, sided set of discs here you can see the the difference now in the reference uh, <clears throat> plus the, the seven as opposed to six discs so that's my new pommel and it just feels a lot more like the thing um, so that goes on there that goes on there that goes on there and now we have a new guard which is much superior and uh, much more like the original um, so I'm just finishing off this uh, sort of connector piece here which also needs adjusting everything else uh, being the case so what am I doing with this I'm just gonna pull that up and follow the contours of the form below so it's got to be something like this um, I wonder if this could be a bit more generous as well something like that and then I have to just fix around make this sharp And uh, tidy up that thing below. And we're almost there. Much improved. So, uh, what's all this? Oh god damn. Could have done the symmetry on there. <clears throat> Horrible lines. And this could probably just have a bit more of a an edge to it. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, now this is more like it. I've got this problem underneath here. I've got to, I really got to deal with that unpleasantness. So I'll just smooth it first because I've got a thin cut. And uh, the only way to deal with it is to smooth it first. And because uh, it's not, it's not strictly a straight line. I can't just come in and cut it all. So it's a bit fiddly. It's a little bit fiddly, but there we are. You want some kind of overhang here at the front. like this so that you want a feeling of volume here touch of volume I'm not sure it's so important on the other side um, but there we are uh, now I think I can join this up now and uh, just pull that in a little there oops 
not that much. Okay, now what's the story here? This looks a little soft. I'm just going to have to slice, slash. I call slash slice for some reason. I just get in there, that'll tidy up nicely. A bit more. Lovely. A bit of a pinch. Uh, bring the pinch out there. Beautiful. Now it feels like it's rising here, which it shouldn't. So I need to compensate that a little bit. Just bring that up. That's nice. And then I'm going to have to fill because I did that. I'm going to have to fill here. Thank God for green metallic. Otherwise you wouldn't see it. You can barely see it. Um, okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. It's a lot better. <clears throat> there is the fix. On the old handle. And I've got my blade. Obviously, I'll need to tidy all that up with the the tang to go inside the handle. And um, I think we're done. Finally, correct. The correct Gondorian sword. Thank you. It looks like that.